Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Will Patterson, and welcome back to a new video. If you don't know, I am currently in Los Angeles, LA, America, and I'm here because Adobe has brought me all the way from the UK to Adobe Max. Adobe invited me over and they flew me out and they gave me a nice hotel and everything and I'm basically here to check out Max to see whatever's going on, seeing all the new updates in the creative cloud, which some of them are impressive, and to also expand on my creativity and that's basically what I'm here for. If you don't know who I am, I'm a logo designer and a hand lettering artist and I make these videos online for you guys where I teach you everything to do with the freelance life. In this video, I'm gonna give you the insider's look at Adobe Max, what it's all about, and why you should maybe think about coming if you're a creative. So just a little bit of background before I show you around Max. So today is the second day of Adobe Max. That means that I have already had one full day and to be honest, the jet lag is crazy. Hence why there has been no videos for a while because I've been busy with work, but also the jet lag whilst I'm here. Like no joke, England is like eight hours in front and that is just killing me. So yesterday we were at Adobe Max and I met up with some amazing other designers on YouTube such as The Future and Chris Doe who does a future and Chris Doe is like the designer on YouTube. He basically teaches you everything to do with studio. He's interrupting the education system for design. I've also met Dansky and today I'm hopefully gonna meet Charlie. So it's gonna be a good day. Yesterday we had this insane party. I also had a meetup with Chris Doe and the future team, which was really insane. I mean, they're based in LA. I never thought I would actually come to LA to see Chris Doe, but here we are, I'm with Chris Doe. We also may have like a sneaky video in the works for whilst we're here. So yesterday Adobe gave us the big keynote and you never guess what, I think the vice president Phil from Apple was there as well and it blew me away just to think that, you know, Adobe has got such an influence in the creative industry. It is the industry standard products and I love Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop and the other ones that I use like Premiere Pro. They also like released Premiere Pro Rush or Adobe Premiere Rush, which is like a new video editor for YouTubers and people who just make quick videos on the iPhone, iPad, or MacBook. There's literally so many updates to the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite. I've been downloading them in my hotel room. It's been insane. And I think the biggest part of Max is the community pavilion. There's 50% more people who are attending Max this year than people who live in my town, which is insane. There's like 10,000 people in my town, so like having that amount of people in one room for one speech or one you know conference is insane so aside from me networking with people i've never met before meeting a ton of you guys it's been expanding my creativity people asking me questions but also me being able to ask questions too to people like you know aaron draplin or like amazing designers that i look up to in the industry i'm able to answer and ask a bunch of questions and we're able to network, gain communications, understand other people more. It's an element of community that you've never seen before. But the coolest part of the community pavilion is the fact that they've got so many stalls there. These stalls range from like, you know, Nvidia doing like VR to Logitech to Canon, to all these amazing companies coming in and showing us the new products, but also showing us the coolness of technology and creativity intertwined. So that was what I've been doing for the past day. Now today I'm gonna to be taking you with me because I feel a lot more refreshed. I've slept well, I'm about to get breakfast at Adobe Max, and I'm gonna be taking you with me so you can experience what I'm experiencing at Max. So let's do this, let's have fun. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Will Patterson, and we are right now at Adobe Max. If you don't know what Adobe Max is, well, I'm gonna show you just a small part in what Adobe Max is all about. And it's all really about community, but as well as that, there's a bunch of really cool, like, stalls. What would you call it? Exhibits. Exhibits? Yeah, we're gonna go and check some of these exhibits out, rub people's heads and say hello to them, and basically show you why you should be here at Adobe Max next year. Let's do this. So over here we've got loads of different exhibits, if that's what you want to call it. It's Stuff all, all to do with different businesses. We've got Canon exhibits over there, posters being sold here. Covers for your MacBook there. 
loads of stuff. They've even got a store over there for like anything Max related. And also we've got a cameraman that I'm gonna show a clip of right now. I've met him at Max. This is another reason to come to Max. You'll meet so many different people, people who may or may not know you, but everyone's super friendly. I wanna give a huge shout out to Guinevere, who is my cameraman. I'm gonna call him William, because he's got the same name. It's his wife, and he's a legend, by the way. We're gonna carry on. So here's the Wacom exhibit station, whatever you wanna call it. Got all the new Wacom devices there, Cintiqs, things of that nature. If you're a graphic designer that does a lot of illustrations, you'll be able to try them out before you buy them. You can just see what all these products can do and if they work for you. I would, I would literally say, if you are just someone who's starting out in design, this conference is for you. You'll meet so many people. You will also get so much knowledge from asking different people questions and just seeing people you've never thought you would meet before. Have you seen how big this room is? It's massive. Hi, sorry. Yeah, it's, ma it's massive, this place. Even just being in like Adobe Max in itself, in like rooms like this, you realize exactly all the inspiration that could be around you. There's like so many people here. It's actually freaking me out. We've got a party here at Workfront. Hi. Hey, the hell's going? I'm oh, good, how are you? Good to meet you, Keegan. <laughs> What'd you guys do? <laughs> We're a work, modern work management platform. Oh yeah? Yeah. So similar to like managing your work on one tool, that's what we do is, is making sure from start to finish, right. you're able to manage it in one single tool. That's decent. Yeah. I've seen you've got a charging station out there, right, as well? and we had some sweet shirts that went like a hot commodity, man. Nice, they do look yeah. nice. Yeah. You've, you've got to have nice t-shirts at Adobe Max. Oh, for sure. Otherwise, you're wasting your time. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> So what have yeah. you got over here? Is this, you got some swag, apps? but we got a pretty sweet uh, crayon coloring thing. Ah, yeah. Some no. swag, let's get you some. Let's do it. A little Shut charger. Well, it's a oh, cable, okay. not a charger, that's a lie. Oh, a cable, like, yeah. with multi-chargers on it? Yeah, yeah, and then some chaps that come in. Oh, no way. Got some mints, keep the breath, breath fresh. I would love mints. You've got yeah. to have some mints, man. <laughs> Like, no, thank you. Yeah, no worries. See, you come to Max, you never leave empty handed. <laughs> I'm gonna need like a shopping trolley by the time I've gone through <laughs> everywhere. Awesome. Thank you so much, dude. Yeah, no have worries. a nice day. Hey, good to meet you, man. Good to meet Keegan, you too. Like I said. Keegan Will Patterson. Good to meet you, have a good man. You too, Thanks man. Thanks for stopping by. No problem, man. No idea. This is a mouse that I really want. So this is the Logitech, what is it, MX Master 22S. Something that I used to use was a graphics tablet a lot when I was actually working in Illustrator with a pen tool, and that was to stop RSI. The, my biggest problem when I'm working in like a design environment is that I'm clicking all the time. But with these mice, they're so, literally, they're so sensitive, like you can use them and they've got a much nicer click, so it doesn't take as much action, so you don't get that RSI. How much is this monitor? Well, it is a price. <laughs> so it's a little to take a guess. Um, over a thousand dollars. Most people think that, however, it is like around eight ninety nine. Really? Guys, this is like my dream monitor. I can see myself working with one of these. Can I play with it? Am I alright to touch this? In my previous video, I talked about my Canon 6D and what I use for traveling. Now, here's the camera that I really want to get. Now, this camera is insane, but I'll, I'll show you. I really want that camera. I don't know how much I've yet I used in that little clip, but I, I want that camera so bad. Here is the Antwerp student area where you can like talk to anyone who's a student. I'm not a student. But if you have someone that you want to be, you know, to mentor you when you're here, I think you can sign up to talk to some of the most creative artists in the industry and like designers and people you look up to, to have like a half an hour meeting with them. Which I think is like insane to have that here at a conference full of so many other people.